everybody. Welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Val. I'm out here in the garden today and uh, we're going to be planting some peas that my uh, daughter brought home from preschool. So they've planted these uh, with her class and they've uh, already sprouted and grown really quickly. I think this is only like a few days, maybe, I don't know, three or four days after they sprouted. Um, they're already this big. So we're going to uh, get her some experience with growing her own um, plants and her own food specifically. So we're gonna uh, use this uh, nice pot that I have. Um, I had some herbs in here that uh, died off before uh, in the winter. So they've just been sitting out here. And uh, I'm gonna just pull the mulch back here. We're gonna use some sticks to uh, basically use as like a little trellis and we'll make a nice little place for the um, peas to grow up there. But uh, really, I think just for this video, I just wanted to kind of encourage everybody to grow food with your kids, you know, teach them about gardening, learn about gardening with them, uh, do it together. And uh, I just think you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, it's fun for them. You get to see the whole process of how food is uh, grown and cultivated. Uh, it teaches them responsibility, having to water the plants, make sure they get enough sun, etc. So I, I just think it's like a really uh, great, um, you know, win-win situation for everybody and uh, teaching them about the environment and you know, the importance of, uh, you know, being able to grow, grow your food and things like that. So uh, let's get to work and I'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. So we've got the uh, stakes in the pot now. Um, got some string going around it to hold the sticks together at the top in this little triangle shape or pyramid shape or whatever, as well as some strings going around the sides so that the um, peas have something to wrap around as they start growing. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh soil after I uh, transplant the peas in here and then we'll re-add the mulch which I've just temporarily dumped onto the other pot over there. So let's get that done and I'll show it to you next. So that's what we have for now. Uh, added a little fresh soil at the top and I'm just going to put um, some of the mulch back here on, on the top. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully the peas will be uh, growing up this nice little lattice that we gave it. Um, and uh, we'll see how the uh, growing progresses over the next few weeks. Uh, we should hopefully have no more frost, uh, at least the forecast calls for a bit of uh, a warm front coming in uh, in two days from now. So we should be okay and uh, we'll see how they grow. So uh, yep, hope you guys liked it. If you did, please do give it a, a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, let me know what other good things there are to grow with kids that uh, grow pretty fast and, uh, you know, keeps their interest level high uh, without having to wait too long, like trees or fruit bushes or things like that. Um, I think it might be kind of hard to keep their attention <laughs> with things like that, multi-season um, kind of things. But uh, something like peas are a um, pretty good idea, I think, because they just grow so fast. Um, beans, things like that. So, yep. Anyway, that's it, guys. See you in another video soon. Bye.